It's the Superhuman Television Show, your guide to living beyond 100 years in good health. Now, here's your host, Carl Lenore and Tony Vanetti. Welcome back, Superhuman Television. I am Tony Vanetti. Like he said, the big voice guy said he is Carl Lenore. <laughs> I'm on the radio here at locally at 790 a.m. with a sports station uh, later today at 3 o'clock, so please take a listen, and you at superhumanradio.com. Yeah, I'm on the air right now, actually. <laughs> uh, and uh, today's topic is really hits close to home for both of us. And uh, ladies, I know at home you're sitting there watching, and guys also, uh, prostate cancer has been one of the biggies. Uh, and one of the scares that they'll tell you about um, with hormone replacement is that, oh, that it could cause certain things with guys. So we're going to cover it all today. We're going to talk about it today, the fears and, and what goes into prostate cancer and getting well, your prostate checked. What, what we're really going to talk about today, um, actually more so than that, is uh, a little known way of preventing prostate cancer that your doctor will never talk to you about. Uh, in fact, uh, quite often your doctor will talk to you about drugs that they can give you to help prevent prostate cancer that are somewhat or not effective at all, lifestyle changes and so on. But there's one thing that has been shown conclusively in a variety of really good studies that no one talks about. So before we get into that, let's talk about what the prostate is first of okay. all. <clears throat> Excuse me. The prostate is a walnut-sized gland uh, that surrounds the urethra uh, exiting the bladder. Okay. And uh, a normal prostate is the size of a walnut. And obviously an enlarged prostate can be much larger. And there's different reasons for enlarged prostates. It could be something benign like prostate, uh, prosthetic hyperplasia, uh, or it actually could be cancer. Uh, the latter is dangerous. Uh, the former is actually more of an inconvenience because it makes it very difficult uh, for you to urinate. In the year 2013, uh, it is estimated and we have a, a, a graphics we can put up of this, there will be 280, uh, 238,590 uh, new cases of prostate cancer diagnosed okay. and 29,720 deaths related to prostate cancer that has already become aggressive. And this is according to the National Cancer Institute. So you have about a 1 in 10 chance? Well, if you get prostate cancer, whether it becomes aggressive or not is really the issue. So the magic here is to not get prostate cancer. Who gets prostate cancer by race? Okay. Well, as you can see, African-American males have a much higher rate of prostate cancer than white males. But when we look at it all, all along, 152 men out of every 100,000 will develop prostate cancer in their lifetime. These are pretty startling numbers. This is a very, very high rate. Uh, who gets prostate cancer based on uh, age, I believe we also have. <clears throat> Wait a minute, that, that last graphic had uh, some lower numbers for, for Asians. The, the Asian yes, yes, population. the Asian population. Asian doesn't... Pacific Islander, 81 per 100,000 versus the, the, the average, which is, looks like about 145. Why do you think that is? Well, th there's lifestyle in incidences yeah. here as well. Obviously, we can't get without digging into there, you. you know. I'm but what you. we really want to talk about is what, what makes up the United States at okay. this point in time. Okay. So, very few men under the age of 20 are ever diagnosed with prostate cancer, but from uh, uh, 34 up, it gets pretty high. 44.96%, uh, uh, um, 45, 54, uh, 32%, uh, 55 to 64. As you can see, the older you get, the higher the incidence okay. of prostate cancer. And with the uh, um, uh, men in the uh, uh, 85 and up uh, area, really, uh, having the, the highest rate of prostate cancer, 70, 75 and up, I'm sorry. So here's where you get into the issues. There's different ways to prevent prostate cancer according to the National Cancer Institute, but none of them are addressing what we're gonna talk about today. They say lifestyle changes and eating habits. Definitely diet plays a role. Uh, we talk about inflammation in previous shows, avoiding things that cause cancer. Well, that's hard to do in today's environment. Taking medicines to treat precancerous conditions or keeping cancer from starting, this has not been effective either because there's not a, a silver bullet approach. There's not a medication out there that you could take and go, oh, I am going to avoid getting cancer. So it comes down to there is very little valid information out there that tells men what they can do to prevent prostate cancer. What does the prostate do? The prostate produces 
seminal fluid. And this is an important question because this is going to lead up to where we're going. The prostate's job is to produce the fluid that carries the, uh, uh, semen. the semen out of the body. Okay. And so <clears throat> that's its primary job. Right. So think about that for a second. This is what its job is, to do this function. So anytime a man climaxes, the prostate does gets rid of what it made, could you and then live, it reloads again. Could you live without your prostate? Absolutely. And many okay. men do. Okay. Many men who have uh, some of the more aggressive forms of prostate cancer that stays in the gland have to have the gland removed completely. Okay, so what, what is the lifestyle after that? Oh, it's a difficult lifestyle, yeah, okay. they, to, see the, to say the least. Uh, men typically... Uh, who've had their entire prostate removed can probably answer that question better than I can, but it's a difficult lifestyle. Let's just put it that okay. way. Okay, all right. Okay. So, the, the, so the goal really then becomes to try to avoid ever developing prostate cancer. And this is what we're going to talk about on today's show, and we're going to save it till we come back from the break because that's how you do good radio. I mean, good TV. I'm used to doing radio. Um, but, but the reality the is that there is little information out there helping men avoid prostate okay, cancer. But it's a big issue and everybody's been talking about it and, uh, and we're, we're gonna talk about it today. So ladies, think about your husbands and your boyfriends yes. and your sons. And you're gonna play a role, I, obviously. And when we talk, when we come back from the break, we're gonna tell you how to avoid prostate cancer. To the ladies that are listening to the to watching the show today, don't tune out because you actually are a critical portion. And how do you know if you've got some problems? We'll tell you that right now, man. All right, Superhuman Television, back after this on WBNA. Superhuman Television will return after these messages. Your body knows what it wants. It wants to feel stronger, work harder, act faster, and think sharper. Give your body more nutrients, more antioxidants, more protection, more of what it wants. Try Live On Labs liposomal vitamin C today, risk-free, and give your body the nutrients to support your overall health, without jitters, without side effects. Order online at liveonlabs.com. You can lose weight and body fat even without strict diets or exercise with the new H-Force Time Release Fat Burning Weight Loss Patch. That's right, it's an 8-hour time release transdermal patch. Diet pills are destroyed by the powerful digestive acids in your stomach. The H-Force Patch delivers 9 powerful fat burners including Garcina and 7 Keto DHEA directly into the bloodstream. Just apply the patch before you go to sleep and take it off in the morning. Go to hforcefatloss.com or call 305-788-8604. Mention you saw it on Superhuman Television and get a second month supply absolutely free. How to have a healthy prostate. That's the topic of the today's show on Superhuman Television. I'm Tony Finetti. He is Carl Lenore. Okay, so in traditional prostate cancer research, scientists started to look at various things that potentially could affect prostate cancer development and how it converts to more aggressive forms of prostate cancer. And one of the things they started to look at was sexual activity in men because they postulated that since having an ejaculation raises PSAs, mm -hmm. that it could also be the cause of developing prostate cancer. That can't be true. It's exactly what they found out. What they found out in one well-done study that you see here that was a, a, a combined study by a group from Harvard uh, and some other well-known universities, they looked at ejaculation frequency and subsequent risk of developing prostate cancer. They were looking to prove that the more you ejaculated, the higher your risk of prostate cancer because PSAs go up when you have an orgasm. Okay. But what they found out was exactly the opposite, and that led to a variety of new studies that came out behind it. That study right there showed that the men who are having the most orgasms were somehow protected against prostate cancer, even in their late 70s. I'm in. But think about what you said before. You said, what is the role of the prostate? What is the role and of the I prostate? And I said it produces seminal fluid. Yes. And it produces it with regularity. But it also, it also goes back to the old uh, use it or lose it. Okay, but even worse than that. So this fluid builds up and it goes nowhere. Then what happens? Right. It becomes a dirty puddle, let's R say. Okay. Okay? Yes. Instead of a flowing stream that's So you that's have clean. to empty that out. Yes. Yes. And so it was a dose-dependent... Uh, we have another... Uh, um, graphics we're going to put up here. Here, look at this. 29,342 men aged 46 to 81 were followed from 92 to 2000. 
They completed a questionnaire every two years, and, it, and they were corrected for risk factors like diet, smoking, and disease, and et cetera. Got it. Okay? What they found out, and we can go ahead and just keep it going, regardless of age, the men with the highest frequency of orgasm had the lowest rates of prostate cancer and prostate cancer markers. Hello. Okay? And it even gets more profound than that. They broke them up into these groups. Men who were having zero to three orgasms a month, four to seven orgasms a month, eight to 12 orgasms a month, 13 to 20 orgasms a month, or 21 or more orgasms a month. And guess what they found out? That the men less than 60 years old who are having greater than 13 orgasms a month saw the greatest protection, and men 60 years and older were also having the same protection that the young guys were having, and in fact, the men who are having 21 orgasms or more a month had the lowest rates of prostate cancer. They had zero, no prostate cancer in their groups. Hallelujah. Regardless of whether they were 60, 70, 20, 30, 50, 80, it didn't matter. That's an amazing, that's so amazing. So what does this tell you? It tells you that, uh, again, I, I, I wouldn't want to simplify it, but I'm just like. No, it has to be simplified. The more you use your brain, the more you use a muscle, the more you use anything, to me, it, the healthier it is. The yes. human body is amazing that way. It doesn't wear down or tear down. It, it, create, it becomes stronger. Yes. And it does make sense when you talk about you would not want fluid that it, that, that, that organ is, is produced to sit there. That's it. You want to get rid of it, and so your body can produce fresh, new... Uh, new. Well, also there's some other, there's a, other research that has been... There's been a lot of research that looked at this phenomenon. They went, wait a minute, what's going on here? This is amazing. Orgasm can actually protect you against prostate cancer. They've done studies where they've looked at men who were sexually active uh, in their 20s and 30s, but then dropped off. They saw that there was some protective effect, but not as much. Then they looked at men who were sexually active throughout their entire lives into their 60s, 70s, and they found out that these men who were still sexually active, still experiencing orgasms regularity, they, were ha they had healthier prostates, and this is contrary to what science thought because every time a man has an orgasm, his PSAs go through the roof. And PSAs are one of the benchmarks for prostate cancer. It's awesome. It really so is what, what awesome what they, what they decided was that what may be happening here is every time you have an orgasm, like a muscle, you have to kind of injure it to get it to get stronger. Yes. The orgasm causes a slight injuring to the prostate that actually makes it stronger and more robust. Yes, uh, so Wilt Chamberlain's never going to get prostate count. Uh, he cancer. probably never did, right? He's no. never been. Okay, so there you go. As long as he's still active, that's the key here, okay? But the bottom line is this. The men who have more orgasms had libidos. And this is a cry to the men out there who are starting to see their libidos go away. This is your call to look into hormone replacement therapy. Yes, yes. This is all tied back to hormone replacement. Yes. Now, they will tell you. Now, I get my PSA when I, uh, uh, every six weeks or two months. I get my PSA, and my PSA number is a 1, 1 1.0. That's good. Uh, and that's good. If you're creeping up to 4, 5, 6, 7, that's when you well, need to look Well, when you get up to 3 it. and above, you really yeah, have you to. Yeah, you really need to look at it. Um, I've been on hormone replacement for uh, almost two years, and uh, my number has never gotten above 1. It stayed exactly at 1. one. So, I, again, I... Uh, I've, been on, I've been on testosterone therapy since 2007, and my PSAs are well, my PSAs are 0 0.03, 0 0.05. They're always well below one. Yeah, yeah. So it's a good number. You just keep So keep testosterone it does not, and in fact, Dr. Paul Godley wrote a position paper for the National, uh, the, the Journal of the National Cancer Institute in 2007 or 2008, and they looked at all the available research, and they said, Androgens do not cause prostate cancer, which is crazy because when a guy gets prostate cancer, they typically put him on androgen deprivation therapy to, to suppress his testosterone. Big mistake. Big mistake. Um, again, I, I, this is my common sense and because I'm the common sense guy on the show. I am not a doctor. Uh, always consult your doctor and use your common sense. But to me, I always thought, who's, who gets prostate cancer? That's the 60-year-old guy. How much testosterone is in his body? Not very much at all. Uh, the 20 something that has the most testosterone in his body is not suffering from prostate cancer. Back after this, again, that's just a little common sense thing in my head. I'm not a doctor. Superhuman Television, back after this on WBNA. Superhuman Television will return after these messages. 
you can lose weight and body fat even without strict diets or exercise with the new H Force Time Release Fat Burning Weight Loss Patch. That's right, it's an eight hour time release transdermal patch. Diet pills are destroyed by the powerful digestive acids in your stomach. The H Force Patch delivers nine powerful fat burners, including Garcina and seven keto DHEA, directly into the bloodstream. Just apply the patch before you go to sleep and take it off in the morning. Go to HForceFatLoss.com or call 305 788 8604. Mention you saw it on Superhuman Television and get a second month supply absolutely free. Your body knows what it wants. It wants to feel stronger, work harder, act faster, and think sharper. Give your body more nutrients, more antioxidants, more protection, more of what it wants. Try Live On Labs liposomal vitamin C today, risk-free, and give your body the nutrients to support your overall health, without jitters, without side effects. Order online at liveonlabs.com. Welcome back to Superhuman Television. We're talking today about the protective effects of orgasm in men to keep them from developing prostate cancer. It's a very, very important discussion because it is something that you can do yourself uh, that can protect you from ever developing prostate cancer. And Tony, you mentioned something a little while ago and you said it's common sense. A lot of the things we're gonna talk about on Superhuman Television will always try to bridge the gap between science and critical thinking. Because there are certain things that we know are just wrong today, but yet we ignore it because some scientist says this or uh, some uh, doctor says that. But when you see science out there and it confirms something that you believed yourself your whole life, that's when you can put your trust in it wholeheartedly. Yeah. And you're right. It does make common sense that men who are healthy have libidos. And men who have libidos are having regular orgasms, and men who have regular orgasms don't develop prostate cancer. Yeah, they have a lower level of prostate cancer, and again, it's just common sense to me. And then when I, when I sat and thought about it, I said, when do men get prostate, prostate cancer? It starts in their 40s, but the highest is in their 60s. Well, you know what? You're not making any testosterone when you're in your 60s. I mean, so, okay. And you have no libido. Okay, isn't this common sense? So I'm not going to be afraid to take testosterone to have hormone replacement because oh, because that's the biggest thing they jump on. They're like, oh, watch your prostate cancer. I get that. Watch your prostate. Get the blood work every every six uh, weeks or two months or whatever you feel comfortable with to see what your PSA number is. No question, you keep on top of that. But to me, it. Being healthy, like Carl said, and having sex, and, and, and in whatever way you're having uh, your ejaculation, whatever, whatever way that is, has got to be healthy. Yes. It has to be healthy. Yes. It really does. Because, because you have to remember, we've been put on this planet for one thing, and that is to keep the species going. And job number one for us and any organism on the planet is to procreate. So is, when you, is, your libido is indicative of how healthy you are because your body thinks you can still have offspring. Once your libido starts to come down and you start engaging less and less in the art of procreation uh, with your loved one, then your body is going, wow, we're not going to be here much longer. It's time for us to get ready to check out. You can stop that process from happening by looking at sensible, healthy hormone replacement therapy which will endow you with the desire that Tony and I have talked on in previous episodes to want to be with your mate and be loving and do these things. And ladies out there, you're the other side of this coin. If your a husband is interested in making love to you, but you've lost the desire, then you need to look at HRT because that is also your marker that you're either still on this side of the hill or you're on the other side of the hill because if you lose desire and libido, it also means that you're done here on this planet as well. Having sex is healthy. That's the bottom line. And Carl's right. If uh, your husband's interested in you and, uh, and you just have no interest in him, then, then you have to think about it. Premenopausal women have to think about uh, having hormone replacement. And again, just to rekindle that fire a little bit. Maybe you haven't fell on, fallen out of love with your husband. Maybe, he, right. maybe you just need to look in the hormones, find out what they are, get the right doctor. That's the, that's the most important part. Get the right hormone replacement doctor. And okay? we actually have a question that I chose from questions that have been sent in from a guy who's had prostate cancer and wants to know about testosterone therapy when we come back from the break. Okay, good.
Superhuman Television will return after these messages. You can lose weight and body fat even without strict diets or exercise with the new H-Force Time Release Fat Burning Weight Loss Patch. That's right, it's an 8-hour time release transdermal patch. Diet pills are destroyed by the powerful digestive acids in your stomach. The H-Force Patch delivers 9 powerful fat burners including Garcina and 7 Keto DHEA directly into the bloodstream. Just apply the patch before you go to sleep and take it off in the morning. Go to hforcefatloss.com or call 305-788-8604. Mention you saw it on Superhuman Television and get a second month supply absolutely free. Your body knows what it wants. It wants to feel stronger, work harder, act faster, and think sharper. Give your body more nutrients, more antioxidants, more protection, more of what it wants. Try Live On Labs liposomal vitamin C today, risk-free, and give your body the nutrients to support your overall health, without jitters, without side effects. Order online at liveonlabs.com. Uh, welcome back to Superhuman Television. How to have a healthier prostate. Okay, that's the topic of this show today. And we have a listener question. Again, you can send your listener questions to uh, superhumantelevision.com, superhumanradio.com, tony at wqmf.com, and we'll get you uh, your questions on the air on the show. On a recent show, you suggested that men seek hormone replacement therapy. I've had prostate cancer, and I had to go on an androgen uh, deprivation, deprivation therapy. therapy for several years. I am a cancer free right now. The androgen de uh, deprivation therapy destroyed my libido and my life. Am I still a candidate to look at into testosterone? I'm 61 years old. And we went, he asked to have his name withheld and I can understand that. Okay, so going back to what I said a moment ago, even the Journal of the National Cancer Institute recognizes that testosterone is not the cause of prostate cancer. In fact, the most current research shows that it, there's a closer link to estrogen levels in men and prostate cancer. What, what this gentleman is talking about, androgen deprivation therapy, is when they inject men with long-acting gonadotropin-releasing hormones that raise testosterone so quickly that the testes cave in, they can't produce anymore, and they shut down. So. Men who are receiving uh, ADT, androgen deprivation therapy, to treat prostate cancer end up with the, the, the testosterone levels of a, a six-year-old girl. I mean, no testosterone in their bodies. They develop diabetes. They develop heart disease. They put on a lot of weight. Uh, I corresponded back and forth with this gentleman, and that is exactly what happened to him. They lose their libido. Their quality of life goes down the tubes. And ADT is only semi-effective. There are some men who it doesn't help. But they put them through this torturous, uh, brutal therapy anyway. What for? Because it works for a very small percentage of men, but not all of them. Okay. So the takeaway of, of this is this. Testosterone is not the cause of prostate cancer. If anything, the most recent research shows that it's men with high estrogen levels, which body fat will do that to you, by the way, uh, that have a higher rate of prostate cancer. So get with a doctor who understands this. You can get on testosterone therapy, your hormones will have to be monitored very, very closely. Your estrogen especially will have to be monitored very closely. You may have to be put on uh, some aromatase inhibitors while you're taking the testosterone, but you're absolutely a candidate for testosterone therapy. But you have to find a doctor who's intelligent and understands this. If you go to a doctor who's not up on the most current information about this, that, that, then you're going to be treated the wrong way. And that's the bottom line with this. You are a candidate. You have to find the right doctor. Uh, the conclusion of this show and the biggest finding, again, we've, talk, we've uh, morphed into this um, talk about hormone replacement and the causes of, can of uh, prostate cancer or whatever. Um, the conclusion is the more uh, ejaculations, the more sex you're having, the better off you are and the healthier your pro prostate's going to be. No matter how and what form those, the, those come into, um, th that's just the conclusion here. The yes. more you use it, use it or lose it. Use your brain or lose it. Work your bicep or lose it. Your prostate, put it to work. It makes the fluid that carries the semen. Right. Put it to work. 20, 20, now that's extreme. 21 times or over a month is a lot. But see if you but can But listen, if you're 65, 70 years old and you're retired and you've got a woman that you're in love with, uh, and, and then, then you, have, you can have 21 a month. I mean, it's not, 
But you need to find that love again. You need to find that passion. You need to find that energy again with your, your mate so that you can do this. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you again noon right here on WBNA. I'm Tony Finetti. He's Carl Lenore. It's Super Human Television. You can lose weight and body fat even without strict diets or exercise with the new H-Force Time Release Fat Burning Weight Loss Patch. That's right, it's an 8-hour time release transdermal patch. Diet pills are destroyed by the powerful digestive acids in your stomach. The H-Force Patch delivers 9 powerful fat burners including Garcina and 7 Keto DHEA directly into the bloodstream. Just apply the patch before you go to sleep and take it off in the morning. Go to hforcefatloss.com or call 305-788-8604. Mention you saw it on Superhuman Television and get a second month supply absolutely free. Your body knows what it wants. It wants to feel stronger, work harder, act faster, and think sharper. Give your body more nutrients, more antioxidants, more protection, more of what it wants. Try Live On Lab's liposomal vitamin C today, risk-free, and give your body the nutrients to support your overall health, without jitters, without side effects. Order online at liveonlabs.com.